Well, with my experience and association with those two gentlemen you just mentioned, Dr. Floyd Toole and Sean Olive, um, I consider myself fortunate sort of to be in the right place at the right time. And I believe that maybe it's not so understated uh, worldwide. If you, if you talk to the professionals and the people in the know in our industry, and I think a lot of your readers as well, uh, recognize PSB as kind of a inspir or not PSB, but the whole Canadian industry as kind of inspirational for the the way to approach high quality hi fi, and it sort of in a way set a standard worldwide. Uh, there isn't many. I doubt if there are many speaker companies out there that don't peruse the history of the Canadian loudspeaker industry without strong consideration as to what they do and how they do it. I have, I have a tendency to agree. Uh, our wavelength is smaller. You know, we're a smaller country, uh, less people, less press to a certain extent. But certainly, I'm not speaking from an ego point of view, but from an ability point of view and from a development point of view and from an innovation point of view, uh, I don't think we have anything to be shy about. We're right there, we think, at the top. Uh, we even owned one of the brands that you mentioned there, you know, the electronic brand, and we got rid of it. 12, 13 years ago to concentrate solely on speakers because we thought that's where the modern trends were going. More importance would have been placed there. And therefore, you know, as a part of the industrial pool of engineers and designers, I think Canada is pretty well established and they have a, a, a great clique that a lot of people can look up to. I'd add to that, as you just mentioned, Canada has in my background, and I'm sure Vince is similar, uh, Canada has kind of a European musical ethic and musical appreciation that that I think uh, I was fortunate to be involved in. And uh, music in Canada is, not that it isn't important in other countries, but it's huge. It, at least it was huge when I was growing up. So. And I think in general, the way the education system in Canada is set up, um, it, it really uh, seeded a lot of the passion for good quality music, or for music in general, and hopefully good quality music. Okay, um, what are the latest trends in home audio that you see through your dealers, and how are you responding to these trends? Well, this time I'll start. Go ahead. Uh, I can only talk for speakers, you know, since we're not so much into the electronic field. But, uh, you know, we've seen the uh, inclusion of sound bars almost everywhere. And we've resisted that temptation, even though we can build a very extreme high quality sound bar. And we brought up the little Kin Mini to call it the anti sound bar, to give the speciality dealer something that they could put forth that could actually outcompete, you know, a low cost sound bar. And the trends are towards having something very modern in a home that is assimilatable, if one can say, in a den environment, and that has this multifunction approach. So you want it to be a leopard tank, you want it to be a fantastic aircraft, you want it to do a lot of things. And I think a, a, a great speaker, from my perspective, has to have a multifunctional role that can be applied a little bit everywhere. That's the trends that I see. Uh, electronic trends, well, of course, we try to adapt to whatever is needed out there in the consumer marketplace. Paul? Well, I, I uh, really have started on a path, and I don't know if I'm sure the dealer network and the readers and viewers of the website um, uh, recognize that the company, the umbrella company that I'm associated with, which is Lenbrook, uh, Lenbrook Industries or Lenbrook International, uh, many divisions, but Lembrick International is the umbrella company for three brands, which is PSB, NAD, and a new entry into the market, uh, Blue Sound, which is streaming media uh, technology. And I, I get involved, personally, I get involved in developing any acoustic device that's related to those products uh, and, and different product categories like those. So, and, and of course, PSB is also in, involved uh, in developing a, a new product, computer speakers and little add-on subwoofers. And as I said in my uh, question you asked earlier, um, 
you know, we're trying to appeal to the new audience and the new methods at, at which people listen and play back their music. Uh, more, I, I categorize it more as personal hi-fi. And uh, as Vince said, you know, uh, trying to uh, drive together the video and audio experience into one and all the products that, that we need to do that. Not just on a home theater scale, but just on a, you know, a bedroom scale or, uh, you know, people don't just have one TV anymore. They have them all over the place and they don't just have one computer anymore. They have them all over the place. So I would like to think that we try and appeal to that new growth in the way people appreciate and listen to their music. Okay, um, looking at some of the developing technologies and trends within the market, do you think that high resolution audio will help consumers evolve beyond the gated CD format and low resolution down downloads? Is Dolby Atmos really truly, in your opinion, the next era of home theater? Or does it represent the next era of home theater? Well, Dolby Atmos, I don't see any negative in it. I heard it initially, I'm very pleased that they can accomplish certain things and certain functionality. And there's another competing system that does things from another venue. Uh, you certainly need very competent speakers to uh, ex ex extract the maximum from those systems. And uh, I think it's a wonderful way of appreciating cinema in a, in a new fashion again. Uh, other technologies, I'm sure, will come to the forefront. Uh, we've had to expand our architectural knowing that these products are coming and that people do not want something, again, very large when you're integrating uh, maybe a 12, 14, 16, whatever the number of speakers, and that subs have to be reduced in size. And all this to maybe give these formats a better chance of succeeding in, in, in standardized homes. You want them to be a solution also, not just another format which burdens the landscape. Yeah, I, uh, you know, on the high resolution side, I think it can be demonstrated repetitively and consistently that if you do it right, there is merits in doing high definition. And, you know, I've noticed lately, and, and this is a fairly new experience because of the wealth of, 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 of media that's starting to become available with downloads and streaming, and you hear about this all the time. Uh, I think it's going to have to be almost a prerequisite for actually being able to deliver the media to the customer. It must be capable of high resolution. And just like when we went from records, which some people would argue even sound better today, but that's that's debatable. Um, but, you know, CD was in many ways an improvement because of dynamic range and no clicks and pops so that the musical experience was much more transparent from the media or the, tr the delivery system. And then of course the next step is high resolution and all of those steps I believe are dem demonstrably better and uh, on, you know on the side of Atmos uh, what I like about things that are Dolby or things that are THX or things that are whatever you want to name them when you have a standard by which you can deliver a product, a guideline, and somebody who is really focused on making sure that the, the, the format is complete from the production of the, of the media, uh, media, the movie, the soundtrack, right through to the delivery of the system. If you don't have standards, you don't get good results. And I, I, I just got to say, you know, we're all for good standards so that we can deliver something that is consistent and matches the beginning of the production right to the end of the production. And it can't be done without something like a Dolby standard or a THX standard or whatever it may be. So I, I, I encourage any of that. 